Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Nafis bin Sajuri. And my name is Muhammad Saiful Izwan bin Hashim. Uh, today we want to explain our assignment which is uh, task 2 for MATLAB execution. So basically the question uh, asks around 4 questions which is uh, A, B, C and D. Uh, and we will go to the first question which is which is question 2A. So I will be explain about the question to A. For the question to A, firstly, we need to declare the transfer function given on the question at the common. For the question to A, we use the R locus G as a common. After that, the R locus G has been declared. The root locus that will be produced just like at the slide then we need to locate one point at the imaginary crossing and one point at the real poles the value for the gain k for this transfer function is 30 meanwhile the breaking point did not exist in this uh, transfer function meanwhile the breakaway point is located at the negative 0 0.0472 since there are no complex poles or zeros, there is no angle of departure and angle of arrival for this transfer function. Furthermore, since the location of poles is located at the left side, the system is stable. Then for the question B, I will pass to the, my partner. So for the question B, uh, we need to uh, locate uh, the uh, not to locate but to assess whether the point which is uh, s uh, equal to negative 0 0.17 plus 1.74 j is located on the root locus of the system so we need to include the step response of, at the operating point to show the system transient response characteristic which is uh, certainly time peak time and percentage overshoot so uh, the method is uh, same as the question 2a uh, uh, only we need to add uh, a little at the end of the command which is uh, CISO2G to open the software so uh, after that uh, the CISO2 will open the root locus pattern which is uh, as shown in the slideshow so the location of poles uh, need to be adjusted until it reach uh, our point which is uh, negative 0 0.173 plus 1.74 j for so we need to uh, find the point which is uh, somewhere around the imaginary axis so because uh, we need to find the information at the step response after we uh, find the exact point we look at the step response which is uh, the information uh, at the step response uh, the value of the settling time which is uh, 26.3 second meanwhile for the peak time which is uh, TP is uh, 1.74 second and the percentage overshoot is 73.9% uh, so this is uh, the information that we seek from the beginning of the question for question 2b. Um, and uh, for the question 2c, <coughs> firstly, we need to write the scissor tool at the common. To get the root locker step, click add poles and or click add poles or zeros at the root locus and choose lead compensator. Then, the ping point needs to be adjusted until it reaches 15% uh, 50, of percentage overshoot. Um, after that, we need to adjust the real zero and real pole at the compensator editor based on the value we get at the task 1c. <coughs> The value we get at the task 1c for real 0 is negative 1.1 1 
and for real pull is negative 0 0.0 is negative 6.01 <coughs> after that we need to set up the design requirement for percentage overshoot and settling time based on the task 1c the value for percentage overshoot is 15% while for the settling time is 3 seconds Uh, the slide show show the um, result for the root locus at the 15% overshoot and 3 seconds of the settling time. Uh, the value of the settling time at the start response is 2.48 seconds and percentage overshoot is 15.1% uh the value for the percentage of issue and set and certain time we did not get the accurate value due to an error du during the execution uh for the question to do i will pass to the my partner so uh basically for the question to d uh we need to prove that the designer that compensated is task 1d which uh we already submit uh, before the study week uh, has meet uh, the criteria. If not, please uh, slightly adjust the composite again, pole and zero to achieve the desired criteria. So we need to include the plot of composite board plot and composite step response. So basically, we need uh, to use C uh, CISO tool again. But uh, for the composite again, uh, we need to adjust it. The again the gain uh, to, get the to get the accurate the accurate uh, value that we for the overshoot, for the overshoot. so uh, this is uh, the root locus during 20% of the percentage overshoot uh, which uh, we can see uh, there are the poles and zeros and some breakaway so uh, this is uh, the step response during 20% of percentage overshoot uh, which can we can see for the overshoot percent which are uh, 20% the time settling time is 0 0.4 uh, second uh, so uh, for the board editor uh, the value of gain margin is 15.5 uh, uh, db and value of face margin is 48.2 degree at 20% uh, percentage overshoot uh, this is uh, the value that we gain from the board editor which is uh, we open it at CISO tool uh, in MATLAB software uh, so that's all from us uh, uh, thank you and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh